Welcome to Talking Art Encyclopedia. Subscribe now and let's start the conversation. Yeah, um, well, uh, if you want to, to speak English, so be afraid. <laughs> if you have enough to do that, say it before. Otherwise, I, if he, I am unable to, 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 to tell us the, the, the whole story uh, once more in, 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 in English, I only can tell you that Mr. Charatulu had asked uh, the question about the shadow caused by uh, the by uh, analytical psychology in general. I, my view is that he caused a tremendous shadow which you can see if you open your eyes, you can read it everywhere. Uh, but uh, one could not uh, construct a real, a valid sh shadow by the data as given, the documentary data as given by analytical psychology, because I, I simply I don't know where the great holes are. I always try to fill them. And, and as far as I have seen them, I have seen them as well as possible, or of course, you know, perfect. I have done it as well as, um, as I could. Uh, and it is up to the critics to do better. No question. Oh, I don't know if you want Mrs. Oman Prague. Is the animals of a woman whose superior function is thinking? in possession of her feelings and producing a fear of value judgments or is her superior thinking due to the developed animus while the animal's principle remains unconscious and in the hands of the shadow. When the animus of a woman whose superior function is thinking is in a normal condition, then there is no reason whatever why she shouldn't or couldn't be in possession of her feelings. When her thinking is proper, it, it will not interfere with feeling values, and so it will not stop her feeling development. On the contrary, it will lead to it. Because when you follow uh, your intellectual development, you soon will come to, the, to, to a place where fate uh, will show you that you can't get through with intellect alone, that you need feeling. You, that, you see, you cannot go on with intellectual development and not uh, 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 get into a collision with the feeling values. And your intellectual development would be bad at fault if you would neglect the, the, the values. Not that it didn't happen, you did, that is just our trouble. We developed the, uh, the intellect with all regard to feeling values. And then you simply get, uh, you get uh, stupid, dumb, as intellectual people are who neglect feeling values. Because it is more stultifying than the absence of, of feeling values. Now, it is true that when uh, a woman has a superior thinking, function, then she probably has developed her thinking through the critique of the animals. That would be necessary. No thinking can be developed under an animals, because the animals is the contrary of thinking. You see, oh, oh, I, I put I get this idea of woman, and then she said, oh, I thought, and that means she did not think. <laughs> uh, and, and because, you see, when she said, I thought, she did not think. She was thought by her animals. She had an animal's opinion. Uh, for instance, I say to her, now look here, mm. I, I, I dislike uh, when you do this or that. Then she will do it. And then I say, now why did you do it? Oh, I thought you liked it. And it happened. That's what the only will start. That goes down into the, the smallest detail. For the you say, oh, I'm, I'm going uh, uh, to shop uh, 
Or could you bring me a, a little bit of something of, of that and that kind? Uh, but only a little one. Then you should bring me a big one. Because I said a little one. <laughs> uh, and then she said, oh, I thought, you know, tell no, just not. I think, well, when she did, when she has a superior intellect, then she must have gone through a process of cleansing intellect. Because the animal is absolutely prohibitive. It is just not mind. It is, it, it is anything else. But just not mind, it, it, uh, it's a contrary of, of uh, a real intellect. But, you see, if on the other hand, uh, her superior thinking is a superior animus, then her real intellect is inferior. And what she has, or what appears to be a, 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 an intellect, and is nothing but her animal, then she possesses no intellect. She can be behind the screen, the animal screen, as stupid as you want. And so she is. I shall never forget, I was once at a diplomatic dinner, uh, and uh, my lady, I was afflicted with, uh, was the sister of a very famous man, and, uh, and she was apparently the big thing, the big mind, you know, and she had very intellectual circle. On the moment we sat down for one and a half hours, she absolutely swamped me with philosophy and God knows what. I had no chance to, to fit in one single word. Then suddenly she stopped feeling that now I, I must be sure and and said, uh, but I always talk, uh, what, what are your views uh, with reference to this or that? I abstruse philosophical subjects. I, I, I said, you know, I... I would be very interested to know what you think about these things. The, but, ha, now I have uh, swamped you with my ideas. I said, no, madam, you have You told me what I could read in the Encyclopedia Britannica. Or, I'm not uh, I'm not interested in all that stuff. I would like to know what you think. What I think. Oh, well, then I... I should think first. <laughs> well, there is a lot of but the next day she called me up and wanted to see me privately for a consultation. <laughs> yeah, it's called that she never has thought the slightest thing in the world. That is a superior animus. But everybody is where well, she's the most intelligent, the only educated person. She only talks. Driver, intellectual driver. She knows nothing. She has acquired nothing. It's all talk. That is a superior intellect. Now, such an animus, I mean, such a sort of quasi intellect, is most prohibitive with reference to the development of feeling because it keeps the feeling completely. Not only the feeling of the uh, uh, public, but also her own feeling. Her own feeling remained very primitive and and helpless, lame, <laughs> ridiculous, childish, uh, egotistical. Her um, uh, 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 feeling is, is simply impossible. Uh, and she also is unable to establish a feeling up or because the feeling is killed from the staff. Because even a woman begins to talk such trouble, uh, a man with a trace of intelligence, uh, simply takes or he forces him 
Vi frøfter det nej. Nej, og det er meget bedre fakt, der er det gældte straffet, når du får det sig. Men vi har det til, der kan vi have live på at sige ting om drikking. And the other question, would you, would you equate the intellect with their thinking function, lucid, or with uh, no, with their legal function, with the speculative and practical side of intellection? Go into no, no, it is, you see, the definition of intellect, uh, you find in my psychological type, it is, it is the function of thinking, whatever that is. But only philosophers don't know what thinking is. Psychologists do. <laughs> Any other question? Uh, which one says that it's the same? The superior... A bit louder, please. You said it's not pure for a superior anyone, but to a redeemed one with a feeling. What's the, 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 the superior intellect? Yeah. The real one? It's due to a redeemed animal. Not due to a redeemed animal, but the, the redemption of the animals is due to a bad thinking. That woman only, I spoke of, only gets rid of her animals when she begins to think, when she uh, is condescending enough uh, to come down to the fact that she never has thought, that she doesn't know what thinking is. Then she begins, and that is the redemption of the animals. The animal is caught in the primitivity. You see, that is the spirit that fell into matter and must be liberated. That only can be done by real thinking, by the thinking of the individual, not by by that team mm -hmm. that consists chiefly of words. That is, of course, the danger of any woman with a good intellect, that she uh, eats the wrong food, that she eats the store and not the oats, the husks and, and not the contents. And there are, of course, men who, who cater to it. Uh, men who, whose whole intellect consists of, of words, and they use the words as a sort of magic means to twist the mind of, of, of the women. You see that in cases, in practical cases, of Fisa a Papa, where father produces the wrong kind of spirit. And she eats all that and is poisoned for a lifetime. Now, of course, what I say here about the misadventures in the development of a woman is equally valid for the men. There you see uh, the, the same twisting of the feeling life of a man uh, through the, the viciousness of the slot or, or uh, the lies of the mother. Now there is uh, a question of Mr. Rally. I better read it. When we speak of re regression, does this imply that the repressed matter at its origin did once arise to a conscious level, in which case the difference between suppression and repression would be one of the present degree of consciousness, or is it possible for repression to function without the repressed matter ever coming up to consciousness? Now this is a, quite an adapt uh, problem, which I, when I was quite a young man, and still uh, a good friend of Professor Freud, uh, I had taken up with him because the term repression uh, confers the idea that a content which must be needs a conscious content, otherwise you could speak of it. The content that is conscious is repressed by an action, uh, say, uh, uh, a war action or something like that, equally conscious. But then I had made my association experiments and I found complexes that never had been conscious, couldn't have been conscious, and they were repressed. So, 
the question arose. The, the patient never had been conscious of this fact. Yet, it showed itself in a repressed state. He had never repressed it. He, ne he never knew it. It only can be that something has developed in himself for his unconscious, and he didn't know it, that such a development took place. It is all quite naturally in an unconscious state, then it is, it is subliminal, it hasn't reached the surface yet, but it, it never has been on the surface and has been repressed. I put the, that question to Freud and he, he said, yes, you are quite right, there are such things, uh, uh, but he never made use of it. And later on, I came back to it, uh, and he didn't like it, because it, it was, that was a case where the theory of repression was inapplicable. It is awkward, yes, when one has such a nice theory of repression that applies in most cases. I certainly am a case where it doesn't apply. That is for uh, explore uh, a, a most mm -hmm. uh, lamentable fact that uh, he has built up uh, a nice uh, conception of something uh, and uh, he has all the legitimations for it and certainly this goes that it doesn't apply in, in every case where it should. Of course one this likes it but uh, I always felt uh, a sort of defeat when it happened to me that there is, there is a, a, a world, perhaps, of experiences that don't enter that concept without men to catch them. I can well remember the time when I was working over the types. I first saw the wonder of thinking and feeling types. And then, by chance, I should say, I discovered that the sensation must play a role uh, I don't know how, of course, uh, but the sensation is not thinking and it is not feeling. So we have three functions. Now, I had to say, we have no two functions. We, we have extroverts, introverts. Now that's very nice. But then feeling is extrovert and thinking is introvert. That's absolutely packed. And then along comes that little hell of sensation. And overthrows my, my, my own apple cart. Then that's what I meant it. I would have hated it all the more and if a, a a young person would have told me, but don't you overlook the sensation? Well, of course I would have hated it. That's because it is instantly awkward, you know, because every man who is doing the church work in vain with reference yeah. to his work. Uh, that is a you see, it's terribly vain that he has such a nice whistle or something like that, or it's like a nice after, or, or, or he has written a book, a nice book, you know, and, and mm -hmm. uh, so we kind of go back on it, and the defining happens, that shows that it is not so, so mar marvelous after all. Uh, well, uh, that's hateful. Uh, so, naturally, I was particularly careful to examine whether sensation is, is really legitimate to be a function. Now, this, I should say, is perfectly ridiculous to make animals about, of course it's a function. And then, mind you, I didn't know of intuition. That was the loss. Because it is, of course, also the most difficult, because it has, it has really no proper legitimation. This is not rational. It is rational to think, or that means to want to know what the thing is. It is also quite rational to know or to learn what that thing is worth to you. It is also, after all, quite rational to state that the thing exists, which is sensation. And now what? But here is nothing beyond it. And so I said, we have three functions. And lo and behold, 
I, I had a, a patient, an intelligent lady. Now, who was it? She was quite clever in certain ways, uh, but highly naughty. Once on a day, she said to me, Why do you thought you speak of intuition? I said, What is what you mean by intuition? That's no function. It was not in my face, in my three functions, you see. I, and so, and what is intuition after all? It's a hunch. That's all things. How can you define an intuition? Intuition is something that pops into your mind. You're suddenly, suddenly reminded of something, or so you will foresee a certain thing which you couldn't possibly foresee. Most illegitimate, you see. Most illegitimate. How can you know something ahead? Nobody knows something ahead. It is just guesswork. An English professor who wrote, um, uh, a very scientific critique of uh, Heinz uh, ESP. Uh, he said, all those break up the shields in the or that, uh, that ESP function. That's something that's guessing. <laughs> Any I'm the thought, he has said the big word. Nothing but kissing. As though I say, then, oh, that nothing but, well, a lucky case of the, there's no function. And did I picked up, but, you see, it gave me uh, quite a, uh, uh, a chore, what that lady said. And then I began to pay attention. And then I began to study. Oh, what did you do? Is there anything to talk about? How that thing is done. And then I knew, uh, she was an intuitive, of course, and I, I studied her really carefully, and when I saw a certain expression appearing on her face, I knew now she is intuitive. <laughs> and that expression was that she had a, a sort of bland expression. One couldn't make out. She was simply staring at and through. And then I knew it. Now she's going to say something. Yeah. So it was. But when you want to know what I mean by that peculiar look, uh, look at uh, at the picture of uh, Goethe by Stieler. The only got the edge of If it is, I observed uh, in that case in all faces. Um, I had at the same time a patient who was, I knew then, he was a sensation type, a very accurate and objective observer of the things as they are. No, he, he instead became, the two became acquainted, and he invited her up occasionally for a, a little ride in a boat on the lake. And there they noticed these divers, these birds on the lake, and, uh, and they began a game, aimed to guess where the rider comes up again and who is first to see him. And he knew that he lost all his bits. He was always ahead of you. So, she, that, that was not aware of reality in it to an any degree. So always the bird first coming up. He was always bits. Because he did it in in this legitimate in a legitimate way, as one observe. You just watch her, you look where the bird might come up. She did nothing of the kind. She didn't observe at all. She had it in her bones. Now explain that. And, uh, but I saw it is, it is a function, it does exist, but it is, it is something like ESP, and, uh, and that is not allowed in decent society. <laughs> so why I'm, I'm up against it. That was my, my first TV, uh, the day of the, the great shadow began, because I admitted the existence of intuition. 
which is really an obscenity. Because it cannot be, it shouldn't be. Somebody that does not observe, observes better even than a trained observer. Which is a fact. Yeah, I don't know how I got this is. How did I get to the dog and what about the Yeah. I would like to go back to that yeah. because it was the question of repression. Yes, yes. And, uh, suppression or repression and how one would explain no, the nurse. Repression. Yeah. How one would explain these uh, these contents which had never been conscious and yet were obviously repressed. Well you see when the thing was never conscious, then uh it cannot be a question of conscious suppression. The repression, as Freud seems to understand it, would be really a suppression. Because there is a will to suppress. But you know, he is not quite clear about it. And as far as I remember our talks about it, I always had the impression as if he were meaning something, he is not exactly doing that it sort of happened to him. And that is, of course, the superego, which, of which there was no question in those days. That didn't exist then. Uh, so you see, this concept of repression always had a little bit of something involuntary. It just happened somehow. And one found out that uh, because the father had said so and so, or because you read in the Bible, uh, you don't do it, or it is wrong. So he, he never took full responsibility for that uh, or the, the factor of repression. For instance, take the censor in the dream, which is the same, you know. The censor is, happens in the dream, you know, it functions in the dream where one is not properly conscious. And you cannot say that you are the censor. Because it, the censor is, and causes that one doesn't dream something obscene or incompatible. Uh, I had that discussion too, uh, with, with, uh, not with Freud personally, uh, I said, uh, I admit, if you dream of a revolver, of a rifle, of a, of a walking stick, of a church spire, this can be a phallic symbol. But when you dream of a real penis, what then? Ah, then the sensor has a function. And <laughs> So the sensor is an autonomous figure, a very mystical something. And uh, later on, it became obvious that it was the super ego. But in those days, I knew uh, I was his fellow die. Uh, uh, that, that uh, concept didn't exist. Uh, I told uh, the, this idea of repression remained a bit in the dark. But you know, when we speak of his theory, then I would rather uh, use the word suppression. That I know this is wrong, therefore it must go. Or, as Nietzsche says, this is what I have done. I cannot have done it. I cannot do, could not have done such a thing. Finally, memory fades out. That means it is the war. Now, is it that is how repression works? Ah. But this is when you pull it out in, into the light, then you must say, well, for such and such reasons, I, I, I'm quite conscious of, I have taught the Decalogue, I, I had my education, and for those reasons, I exclude this thing. I, I let it drop over the table, or I, I, I stamp my foot upon it. Uh, it would be then a conscious affair. But over against these repressions, uh, there are things that are definitely not repressed because they are utterly unconscious. They begin to germinate 
in the unconscious. They reach a certain level in the unconscious and certainly they pop up where it is. They never have been repressed because one didn't know them. If you assume that the repression uh, works unconsciously, then you would be confronted with the fact that uh, a thing you don't know is suppressed by a thing of which you know nothing. Now, how is that possible? Because when there are things in their cultures, you are just not conscious of it. But so you cannot say something is happening there because you don't know. So this that the hypothesis that repression works by itself, as it were, that the contexts are unknown, the the uh, uh, repression fact is unknown. You only assume that there is such a thing. You know, as a matter of fact, you know nothing. You know, need the repression of the repress. So we must dismiss that possibility. Now, is there any question? Here we have the next one out there. This is the fire from uh, in man. Well, the, this question has to do with the importance of the body as the basis of the, the, the cycling process. The question we fire and then properly seems to be whether the body is the act better or is a good vessel for the mental development or the mental process. The question that Mr. Lillard puts at the end, what can we do to work strengthening and refining the best? How can we bring ourselves and our patients closer to uh, any cooperation of the process and the other direction? of the flesh, I would say, according to my bias and to the regular action of the spirit. <laughs> now, I should be thankful to Mr. Gilman if he kindly could explain a little bit of comment on this question so that I see more clearly what it is about. I said it in the first card, bro, but after a certain stage in the processes arrived that where there's a dynamic top tenfold is during this uh, show to develop a lot to tangle the body as the vessel for who they were. And often, I they were in several to me when I interrupted you. After analysis, for C, so that a certain access to the spirit has been made possible, and dynamic contents have begun to move. The whole trick of the world seems to depend upon the vessel. Without it being right, the process never becomes real, or it just goes up in the air, where it can turn up the story. All this is perfectly true, but think, for instance, of people who are in a serious physical predicament that means gravely ill, perhaps even dying, where the body is really seriously in question. Right. It is the only moment in the life of that fellow where some beautiful or psychic process is possible at all. And his body is not a poor in a favorable condition. Quite on the contrary. There is certain people need for instance physiological and illness in order to be able to add something of psychology. But only when they are either or in pain, then they are actually send some psychological connection or a psychological significance. As long as they are more, they are bad, bad nuts and bones. It's simply nothing will let you suffer. They sure it up. The Robin always said it incorporate Bono, the mansana, that the mind is thoroughly the sound body. 
you know, it's that is a general truth. But don't forget to the typological demise. Nothing is so, and that is not quite true. So we see one can have a perfectly splendid mental or spiritual state, even a great the party on the cultivate. The one who is wound can heal the world. And the one who is handicapped by this body can develop after craft or ideas which other people cannot do. So the general banal truth which you have read and read of Deutsch's for instance, is it that uh, you must have a thin body and then everything is all right. Sure enough, uh, yeah, that is generally true. But this sentence is so religiously banal uh, that uh, it must be true when you turn it around to every. You don't need a same board in order to be mentally sick or at that anyway, culturally. But then it all got attitude in love and so same way. Neglecting the body, but thinking the things about the body. When you do such foolish things, or you give everything that you will value you when you see a that a donkey. And you think, ah, this is now this act, this terribly stupid animal. You make a mistake in the act is not a stupid animal. It is the same as if you were thinking of Mr. Soto with who you have to do, and you think, of course, he is an ass. He is not an ass, necessarily. Or you think of him, he is a liar. He is not necessarily an liar. And if you think he is a liar and treat him as such, then you, will make, then you are a stupid dad and make him a, a bad mistake because you cannot keep him. And so when you think of all the things about anything, you are the idiot that girls don't think perfectly all right. They get your nonsense into your own protection. It's that same thing that we go with the body. Because there are plenty of people who, uh, I can certainly describe as the neglect their body. And that is naturally based upon a certain traditions of against the body, or of uh, even a philosophical or religious bias concerning the body. And then I interfere. I say, now, now, look here. Then look, neglect yourself like that. That shows that you have foolish resistances. And, and they come on to the center where that ever from grateful to me that I mentioned this thing be it because I kept it under the hat. That from the horror. He was such a fellow when he came to the hospital in Paul. He, he, he was just lousy in the Incredible. Oh, come the back. He the was murdered. He was running with a seam all over the body. Terribly dirty and neglected. That is what a huge spread it and it is a ghost instinct. Even here, what the sick, you must have the right instinct. Of course, he cut easily saved him. But most difficult to do. But as you feel with the patient, you get a certain notion now that fellow goes wrong somewhere. So you can apply the same technique to yourself and realize that you eat too much or eat too little, or, or that you eat the wrong thing, that you are constipated and such fools. It is as a lot to do when people simply neglect themselves and I eat it back. Fart of the roses. Or, uh, very often, the outcome of the uh, thought about, of course, we shouldn't be so popular on for which it gives it to that general doesn't eat or uh, develops an ulcer, and then it is much better. And we will then need to ask about it. Yeah, I must say, I, I hear no problem, or I shouldn't be uh, admire the beauty of the body. Could you find it? Very beautiful. Now, here is uh, a question of his time. How can we, through, through your works and your spirit, have found the way back to ourselves? 
at the door, find the vessel to receive it in the out of collected. Must we resort to the use of traditional rituals and hope that the living God will once more make them alive, or are we destined to wait until there are new bottles, no skin really, to contain the new wine? If so, what happens in the meantime? The individual cannot hold too much of the spirit without losing consciousness. And finally out, can the individual really maintain that relationship to the South if there are no traditional rituals which enable him to return from his night sea journey? Well, I must say, somebody who lives in the present time and has a certain psychological understanding is threatened by nothing else as much as by rituals. Because it takes the life back into the past and he he had it understood. For instance, how can we assume that a living God uh, needs a church? If he cannot manifest without the church, that thing is well as respect. Such a bother would, would be damn little to me. You see, it's not a question to find a vessel. We are the vessel. We are the instrument. And, and if we don't function as such, then you have no spirit, because the experience of a man with spirit is that he is made to function. That makes him think, and he doesn't question whether there is of a collective form in, in which he could express himself. That means he needs conscious, he cannot function, he needs a ritual. If the spirit wants a ritual, you will do it. If it does not want the letter, no vehicle on earth can replace the spirit. There is no substitute for the spirit. And somebody who seeks a ritual when simply a declaration that we cannot, we cannot function will have been contained. That is like a child who says, I can't walk unless the mother holds me. That is not a proper function. That is a paralysis. The traditional nature help us to remain in contact with the self as we understand it. It helps you to remain in contact with an idea, a symbolic idea, that we declare to have been an idea of the self. For instance, we say that Christ in a certain way is the idea of the Homo Maximus of the anthropos, of the euphilios homines. That is the symbol of the soul. But in as much as we have the idea that Christ really means the soul, the very name of ritual becomes the worst temptation to lose your relation to the soul. For instance, if you are a bit sensitive and you go to a beautiful mast, you go into that beautiful ritual and you protect yourself. You are dissolved in that beautiful form, but it does not have to be in a relation to yourself. To keep to the self is an intimate individual experience, and it is a, an intimate individual activity, an input, where anything, even if it is something very spiritual, will be a mere influence that hinders you to understand or to become aware of your relatedness to the self. The self is, in that respect, a very small, tiny, and a very tender thing that cannot be disturbed by outside influences. So we see a man who is all by, alone by himself has no church, no holy water, and, and no communion would be quite close. Such one has no relation to the self. The relation to the self is in the first place a lonely experience. And only in as much as you find understanding or people with similar experience, you are not isolated. But it doesn't help you to go to church or to follow certain rituals. You get that feeling because you won't get it. I once know what Catholic peasants say to me, 
Doctor, you know so many things. I would like you would explain to me what, why do we Catholics not uh, keep together? And I say, but don't you keep together? Oh no, we don't keep together. The Protestants, they are far more interested in each other. They gave me examples in a very naive way. And then I saw what, what he meant. Namely, he meant that something quite intelligent. The Protestant has no faithful practically. He has no community in a form. If there is community, it's all human and often quite rational. But in Catholicism, it's quite different. You have a church, you are a member of the church, you are in the church, and that is your relation to other people. You don't need to take care of it. Let's go through the Protestant villages. There, the dungeon are neatly folded and are up by the side in Catholic villages. Very often the dirty business is mother in a bad and an ascetic state. You can see these things because one cast next what the other people think. The world is far more concerned with the tales. A Boston the dear and Zurich told me an interesting story. He had seven children from the true date of who was Czechoslovak and Catholic, and all came to him to be a fellow. He got interested and went to that man about him, I know you and your wife are Catholic. Why do you send me your children? He said, well, uh, I know we fell bit too here, but I think it's better for them. They learn more about social connections, friendship, than when they are Catholic. Because, in a way, we get too easily off with confession. He takes the sting out of things. And then, why go any further? Why make an effort? That is a very thing. For instance, uh, I had a, a pony. He was a professor, a thing man. I put out. And he wants to ask me, now say, what would you call a new roses? Of course, I uh, was half a lot to say, why it had not you know it. I explained to him carefully, and I thought, how new roses is. He thought, why did then he say, well, he started to so show that about two thirds of my clientele is devoting, I think, from the night if so. Then he said, I don't see why you are to interested in psychology and why you take such immense trouble to understand these things. You see, when I am in, in a trouble or I have a, a problem, I ask my father confessor and he doesn't know what solution and he asks the bishop. And if the bishop has no solution, he writes to a and there since two thousand years the most intelligent people are sitting together and I have worked out these problems long ago. Why are the professionals? You would mind. It's all, all done. And uh, this is now a form, you know. Uvalo kuta causa finita. That is ritual. That is ritual life for you. Now, such a man, he hasn't even an interest. He thinks nothing. He's completely blind. The thing had thrown me together with him. And it would have been quite a nice fellow, and it would have been a, a friend of his. I wouldn't have been a white elephant to him forever. He would have understood nothing at all. And I would have handled him like a, a sack of, full of potatoes. Because such a man means nothing to me, whatever. That is a field handicap. When you live in a ceremonial way or in a ritualist way, the best of grass for you don't grow. There is, for instance, a question of Dr. Fischermann uh, about a, the simple as uh, and its equation from the sign. Now, that is a uh, theme, you know, probably they are already thought about, uh, and it can be found in back of the uh, That's the elementary thing which doesn't need a special answer.
on the other side there is a, uh, the question, um, what a, uh, a main symbol that, uh, shapes the light, uh, is necessarily unconscious. That, that occurs, not a thought, it's only unconscious. It can be highly conscious for the sake of the question of timber or any other. The bringing up to consciousness of an unconscious symbol uh, doesn't set to that thing or of empty it of its contents of the corporate uh, if it can stay stay on of course as long as it doesn't the age that means as long as it expresses the underlying cause finishing when that changes in the course of time perhaps in the course of a long time uh, then it ages and then it doesn't express anymore, either totally or partially. Now, uh, the ideas of synchronicity has often to do with protection, psychological protection. Those two concepts uh, are incommensurable. Now, if you, that leads us uh, to a question that uh, we are coming to now, namely, the day, uh, question. Uh, what is man to do with uh, his uh, passionate, primitive, tonic, animal nature? The burning passion had uh, in the uh, Occidental world become identified with evil, and the spiritual passion was good. Uh, instead of denying them or consenting them, the psychologist may answer that we must accept the dark instinctual forces. We must incorporate them, stop projecting them. But what does uh, acceptance mean? And how does it make it? That's the subject. I'll get you the serious question, you know, or the very decisive question. The question, uh, most frequently, completely misunderstood. There is no question whether this thing uh, could uh, be accepted or how it cannot be accepted. That is just a problem. It cannot be accepted. I mean, if you think of, of a very bad case, you know, that's that, that, that sort. It's an impossible case. But if you analyze the case long enough and honestly and intelligently, you will come to this problem. You will come to the impossible problem. That is such a rule that I say, I don't analyze nobody unless you come to an impossible problem. Maybe a, a problem that has no issue. Yet the catch of the case is, uh, one has repressed uh, a lot of, of one's instinctual nature. And, and in analysis, of course, anybody can see how it dwells up. Yeah. And it is. Now we are, we have it on the other day, before her, and now what are we going to do about it? I think we were going to do about it. Nobody can deal with it. Nobody knows how to deal with it. We are absolutely lost with that problem. That must be realized first of all. Of course the analysts are now, now what do you do about it? I say, Madam, I'm sorry, I do nothing about it to the I, I am not concerned with, with your damage thing to me. That is your business to say uh, I should do the same to a man. I don't know. I have no, no prescription. What shall it be in your place? Nobody can say that. Nobody knows. Of course, the analyst for oh, the reason of prestige, he feels that he can say, how do you know? That's more on I watch. <laughs> oh, the boy that they have to be, the supreme uh, Nobody knows how to supreme the king. At nonsense auto. Now, what I say to such a person, that is, go to bed now. Think of uh, all of these you are concerned. The phenomenal of I'll see what you're doing. I have no answer. Uh, nobody has an answer. So, you see, how your 
or nature, or their own culture, or God knows what, how that to react. Now, of course, that is the underlying assumption of the Indians that the trained old man would speak. The two million old man would speak. Then the vital situation is a nap out. We are in a field of sack. And then only you hear the voice. And it speaks in the dream. And that is the reason why we call them the sad dream, otherwise we never get out of this impasse. Now you see, I find a mountain of symbolism, and everybody swears about it. People think I want to prove my theory by finding out that symbolism is this an awful mistake. You see, I have a, a mastered information in order to give the, the animus a chance to know about symbolism so that he can interpret the dream. He must be able to interpret the dream because the dream is all they can answer properly. Nobody is can be said for the problem. We can never answer what to do with, with this damn chronic nature of man. The only answer is the algorithm. Then, of course, we say, Oh, dear country, what should we do? What should come on the earth? And if we knew. A different view of that, a different view of thing about the psyche. We think they're damn hybrids, we know nothing. But these two million years old math, he may know something. I might do that, it's not an exaggeration. Perhaps he has some millions more or more is. Uh, but there is a thing like nature. There is a thing uh, like an instinct for a man, uh, if you want to know him, go to the planet. Look at them, talk to them, then you will see it at what? Yeah, I have no difficulties to talk to Pilitus. I can understand my service very well, very easily. When I talk about the great man or anything equivalent, they understand. They know that they are up for great powers. We think we are on top, that's nothing but the, the hybrids of the uh, city dwellers. Even a peasant knows it that he's a fucking power. But we in living in the city think we are the police. Yes, so the pocket of money or Russia or something like that. Otherwise, it's all it's I look at these cool sat this man is the way they fuss at they made it so they can But he thinks he he thinks that must be people. It got an actual contradiction to what he is telling him. There is the great man in us, and that is the old culture, what, what he the old culture. It is what he called the old culture. It is something that reacts because we have the wind under such conditions. And then it's up to the animals to look after the dream and help the patient to understand that. And therefore, he needs the knowledge. In order to be able to interpret what the old culture states. And you must have a courage of the world. You must have the courage to be linear in its own interpretation for the sake of the patient. Even if he's not quite sure, he must be able to give credit to his own interpretation. That's very difficult when one has a physical mind, but has a no act of intellectual objection against it. But in this disease, it's not of immediate time. But it's just so that from the man that beat him to death, and you stand here deliberate which would be the best method of stopping that after the That's what has the soul so it is. Well, the only place to in other words, that's the old season for people. When it came to the beat I man to the pop shop, and uh, that is true in that in, in fact, yeah, I often, uh, I was in the situation where I, I have to say for all things, I don't know, but it seems to me it's just like that, and that's why you can ask yourself in a few seconds, is it really the best you could say 
and when you go to rulers, I find about this, I found here in the British, even if, if I must go to somebody else, I might say something better. But there's no time, something must be done now. Why you? If it is an error, the Algonians will collect it. But nobody believes that the Algonians can't find it, no one sees that's off. No one thinks that the Algonians was concerned about the English stands of it for. Yeah, it's more than my tells you, oh yes, it has to do with your difficulty at the one about the, uh, it law and what was with the Algonians. You must know that the process of individuation, namely, that urge to become what one is, is invincibly strong. You always can't self it. And, and you can be sure that the accordingness, if you are not interested in your own fate, the accordingness is. And that is how to the end of the fate of. And uh, that isn't difficult. It's very difficult to discern. An act of courage on the side of the analyst and a lot on the side of the patient. He got away and says, Can I trust that fellow? Can I trust myself? And he says, Can I trust my patient? Uh, or trust my knowledge? Perhaps, you know, my, my interpretation is our own. He only must be sure that he's the best he can do. And not be the best we can do quite do. There is no painting. Because that point of the case from the beginning. You cannot treat yourself when you know that you have energy and sleep and wait. Then you know that the seven is not the It's a high level of the internet you can know well or so uh you got to accept what the culture produces, and it is up to you that you understand its language. It is the language of nature, it is not your language, it is the logic of nature, the intelligence of nature, and the morality of nature, that has to be translated into human form. A form is the power. But that is the yes. The reason for the dignity of man in its sense creation. Because there is no reflection in terms that the man man is the one world addressing. And that is his task. And his uh, if he fulfills that task, then he can live and he can live properly. And he is not very nice. But when he puts himself upon it, he's very nice. It is incommensurable with science. It is even the basis of science. Which scientist will observe a process in nature and assume he does it? Or it is something but he sort that. And the whole thing you did, he, it, uh, he observed what there is. And if you observe the facts that are happening in you, in reality, then you are sufficiently scientific. That is the basis of science. Now, there is another question. Is not the human body a central and vital link in analysis. I will be referring to the bond between and the result and analysis. Now I always held that the analyst is a human being, you know. We don't need to do it. It's here for so And so I leave a, a patient who thinks that his his analyst a transcendent monster uh, and not a human thing. It's just a uh, fool. But when the analyst assumes, he himself assumes that he is transcendent and the sort of, uh, I don't know what the ghost or, or, or an abstraction. 
Then he used the vapor fuel. Nobody gets out but for one of this fact that he is, he is human and he shouldn't be ashamed of it. The fact is, our stuff is, we are human. And so when I talk to another human being and I'm not human, that uh, I act like somewhere. But, well, then I assume the whole of, of God or, or I don't know what. Or I think the other is, is a, a beef pole. Uh, a fact is also not true. So you see, if the other side of true and natural, the analysis of you being happy, and the analogy you will be. And there, I was an understatement that means the situation of the dialogue consists of two parts of me, of two human personalities. That is just so. Whether the one is lying on a couch and cold on a dirt leg, and the other sitting behind him, uh, and men up in clouds of the cough. <laughs> Both are belonging to the human species. <laughs> One as well as the other can be absolutely dead sure of all the beginning that each thinks on the principle of the same. See, when the, uh, the patient thinks he dies, man, then the and then probably the CCC and hide human, you see, or something like that. Uh, if the definition of things is a disease, then you will fall here. Well, then probably he's a ghoul, damn, ghoul, cat, or something like that. No, I can't that is the basis in a natural man, sound man, thought for the natural being. And then, uh, having put up this situation here, to the out of suppression, whatever, because it's quite impossible. Can any analyst in this good sense assume that when he, he thinks something, even about his patient or when he, the patient disgusting to him that the patient doesn't feel of the patient's mental. And vice versa, the thing you are is so far more stronger than your feeble world. The patient is permeated by what you are, not by what you talk. He doesn't even listen to what you talk. <laughs> the patient, patients deep and astonishing here. And that, all the more, <laughs> but all the more they are permeated by the real being of the, of the patient. And because they are analysts, they cannot that, because they had a lot black sheet uh, in, in the fourth head or some, so they like, or almost equal, childish, the childish. It is much better to have a, a conscious, Perception of what you feel, uh, of what your inner thoughts are, then that you wish. I have a patient told me a continuous story with a great intensity, and uh, she talked so much about, of course, an Iowan story that uh, I, for a moment, I fell asleep. And then I said, well, did you know this? I said, no, what? What did I say? Well, I just fell asleep. Oh, did you? Uh, of what I wanted to say, huh? Well, not now either, but I have a three for all. She had the three. I'm a bit of a tense up. Then I said, well, I don't know. Now you see, when people are actual, then they have a lot of information about others. Right away, in a simplified matter, considerably, but it complicates matter in at large, as each has unsolved problems. The analyst has certain unsolved problems because he is alive, goes on living, and so he must have unsolved problems. Otherwise, he said, life is a problem every day. And so, we are never finished until we are really finished. So, you see, it is quite possible that 
one of those problems is touched upon. It comes into the play and most cooperative stars, and that explains in some cases very frequent what would all say this term, that certain ironies get certain patients uh, which for the particular M-plot school uh, which they need. They get just that case which puts them up against the top. Even if a case is not just likely to arouse certain complex of the analysis, I'm beaten by self course. Sure, of the shortest time, each puts his foot into it. That must be so. The that is underlying you and cock up. And if you take it the right way, most powerful means, but not. But when you take it the wrong way, uh, uh, then it talks about it. Blows up. Definitely that has been constructed. So the analyst is bound to know about his own cockpit and should be afraid of them. To be able to admit that this is prejudice or also when the patient gets to it. So it's see from a certain degree on, I mean, when the patient has reached a reasonable amount of insight and a reasonable cooperation, then I do not hesitate to tell my patient, inform my patient that I dream of him. Because when I dream of him, he is poor enough. He has such a person in myself where I am not the master. I am not on the top of my own questions. I am under them. And so is he. It may be that when I tell that story, the patient is, ah, oh, yes, that's it. I have friends also, and he plays me a dream that elucidates my own work. That means we have reached now a place where I might be profiting from that analysis. Helped in my own problem, and I help the other. I call it part of not work. Of you know what that is the part of not work in the own mind, uh, where they had no leaf yet, they had no ladder that moved all in this way. So he stepped on the one, and then when the other ladder came up, stepped up and that then he stepped. But the other one, I thought you got up very, very quickly uh, on those two. That is completely moved right in. That is a part of also a So you see, one step ahead, the patient may can be a step ahead from the other two. Because that is human intercourse. You cannot be with somebody without being completely permeated by that other person. But you don't know this, but you don't know it. But you will talk things that belong to another track work, not yours. Uh, and certain atmosphere will, will take hold of you and will increase or decrease your own uh, prejudices. And so when you, you analyze a patient for any length of time, Something of that kind will occur. And then you must be wise. Then you must know where you are. And you have to share certain, but very private, uh, opinions, judgments, moods, etc. When the patient says, Oh, doctor, that's too bad you are in a bad mood today. Or the part of the thing. <laughs> Because you weren't able to acknowledge your old condition. That's a point against you. And this is a point against the patient. Family at hand. How is this visual today? You look funny. Uh, or, or, and perfino? Alcohol. That doesn't carry water. And then out comes the story. That should be safe, particularly for the gene types, the IRC types. Have to require end of the day. Now, what about the weather practice? <laughs> how is this? Uh, how do I appeal to you? Uh, what kind of feeling have you about 
Donc, quoi que ça c'est du genre que euh, je parle. Une autre aussi, après, je vais utiliser des visites des... des... pour un forum internet sur le sur Pride. Because it time and again on, on his own deficiencies. Uh, so because he's done a well. So, uh, to, he doesn't realize what all oh, while the other course all the time Kuhan and uh him into the car. Uh, and that is the point not a solo uh that is all the other for the inferiorities or you know then does not spread on transference and other obviate the possibility of the analyst functioning in the capacities of a shaman or veteran man or future for good. I hope he did that as much as possible. <laughs> and what did that? Anyway, uh, that is exactly why when I transfer the analysis, I mean transfer the analysis, meaning the the business of flash funds understood as a sort of projection that is hindering the clear understanding of the situation. Now, one of the greatest interests to uh, a clear understanding is the projection of Shama, of the people of the world, of the Latin man, the miracle doctor. The great spirit. I don't know what. See here. As soon as you are elevated to such a rank, you are made powerless because then the vision of course naturally and 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 when the analyst is a fool, you know then completely bite of a blindfold and he thrust in the sea of mist. So whenever Signs appear of uh, of such a archetype, archetypical protection. Then, that the warning, you know, that the at one for it. You think I shall or something like that? Uh, that must be discouraged to the possible because it is a it is an archetype, and then the archetype goes goes the situation. The the analyst the own of the other. The archetype is then back to the shaman, and then he just as unable to be more physical as the shaman in the later movies. It's absolutely that ever even in for all the fight, he's obvious, complete. But when that thing is analyzed with mean, the father complex, that is at the bottom of it, raise the analyst to the whole world of what they need God. Of course, that must be analyzed. Of course, that must be reduced to human size. But there is still the human being. That is not the role of science. Uh, that may be simply how you could give it to the patient as a, in the form of a, of a printed form. And you sign that form. I declare I am no shaman, I am not God, I am not Christ, I am no savior, I am not this or that. And I, I had it to the patient outside the pleasure of faith. But you need to try for a living thing. It may appear like the world of other times from the sort, Christ and food, or anything of the sort. And that is a mistake. You see, it is a, a deviation, which is not uh, proceeding or produced by the bad will of the patient that by his perplexity he doesn't know what that skill or the fellow is. He is he perhaps the if you chief guy so is he Jupiter or is she a shaman or something like that. He is it's a an unhappy word to use for a lack of, of the right word. He doesn't know what that is on the other side. If he were an ask copy, he would say, Oh, I know that's 
Chris Kreitman, or Philip Kreitman, then you would have the formula. Now oh, I see. Here's the great man. But how I want to the great man also. Is it that the business between two great men? Not between Mr. Sozo and Mr. Lopper. Or Mr. The copy will have a great advantage. That is, uh, oh, how can a poor that the people can see that? And how many of us, the animals of the day, the, 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 the fall? Well, I few, I tell you. But that is the point in analysis today. That first it seems to be whether the cheap guy is a good papa or the bad, bad papa, and then he's this and that and so on. Who's here? All those are, are ten at qualifying the critical. Enigma and it is quite the piece that he finds out about it. Because if he doesn't find out it with the analyst, he can find out it with other because there's nobody that that would end that would be. So it must be the and and it must be able to ask these questions uh, so that the patient can see what he or she is. In the old, unless you can compare yourself with something, you cannot see. I have this, not that. So he must be able to say, I have this, but the only have this, that when he knows what the fact is. And therefore, that is the purpose of this form of life form. Then, then as us you, we have come to the end of these perplexities, and uh, the question of that. Still the same thing. And it has no name, this must be quite personal. And that is awkward, because who knows it is. Is there a woman? It is. It's something more. Or is there one who is convinced that, that uh, there is a lot of conscience, there is such a thing as archetype, where he is to be congratulated because he knows what it is. He knows the art is an archetype. It's a play. And it is. The great man, or whatever he called, thing behind the scenes. And then he, he discovered that Christ's act for is by no means a person of that. That had to be written. The only rules is that all the value would do is person that to get a middle person out. It, uh, take it, you're used to connect with connect a culture with the regular source of light. So you, if you are wise, you will not teach your, your patient about the double possibility man has, namely, to be entirely personal, which is in no way the other from an animal, or that he assumes that there is something more than human personality, namely, the great man or something of the sort, uh, which is the prerogative of man, then he can see the situation of life. You are only, of course, you only arrive at this insight by the limit and by the understanding of the That's the perspective. There is only one of course more that is about the question, the very practical question of Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.